Well, here's a good one for knocking on the wall of separation between church and state, religion and government. A large group of us sat in a city council meeting the other night, Jewish rabbis, Catholic priests, Protestant ministers, Unitarians, Wiccans, and of course the nature chaplain. We read a couple of statements and walked out silently. What was this all about? The city is making it hard for some congregations to open their doors and floors for homeless people through the winter. Just to take in a few people suffering from the cold outside, the city wants thousands of dollars, a pile of paperwork, neighborhood meetings, and a long process to get a permit. Maybe, if we're lucky, no guarantees, no money back. So here was the chaplain, a non-theist free thinker, now the shelter director, standing with the faithful to point out the silliness and the injustice of this attempt by a local government to control the mission of mercy and compassion of a small group of congregations for a small number of unhoused people. You know, I get really fired up sometimes over religious folks pushing their faith in our faces when they meddle in politics to preach and proselytize. But here it was reversed. Here it is reversed. The government's trying to tell good folks who aren't trying to save anyone's soul, just their bodies, from the cold, the wet, the forgotten dark corners where it's illegal to sleep outside. The same city says it's illegal to sleep outside. It's really crazy. Where's the leadership? Well, I saw some the other night, and it wasn't the mayor and the council. It was people standing silently together and walking out silently together, making a point. That's leadership. The leadership that shows there is a wall of separation, there needs to be. And there's power in that. Sometimes it's right to say no to those who say yes, and yes to those who say no. So that's what I learned. That's what I am learning. That's the wall of separation. We need it.